So this is the box I've been working on. This is the part that the um, the centre board or dagger board will come through. Um, so I have uh, glass both sides of the piece of plywood and then glass this kind of nice, I don't know what it is, mahogany or something. Really heavy. Should be good, solid, and waterproof. Yeah, shouldn't rot too quickly. So hope, and then I've put a couple layers of glass over that. Rounded the edges obviously to uh, to make the, the, the fibre stick nicely without introducing a lot of air. And what I'll do is, uh, 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 process. I'll put some glass down, wet it out, fold it over, then make up the sandwich. And I think I'll just, just glue it to glass to start with, um, put the lid on, and then weigh it down with something until the, the resin sets, and then I'll come over and, and screw it down. Uh, pre oh, I need to pre drill these holes to get stainless screws in, because it's right hard, like. It should be. <laughs> it's actually probably a little on the heavy side, overkill, but. Yeah. Pretty good. Solid. Solid as a rock. And here's the, uh, the lovely hole in my boat. Um, so, again, just that nice hard wood at the ends. Blanked it off and then um, just filled up the air gaps with. Um, Microfiber, like uh, and resin mixed together, just to get the first layer to to stick down nicely without porosity in behind the glass. Um, and then this one, I'm just going to bandage, patch up the side here, put two layers on, and then once the board's assembled, I can put it in, finish cutting off of this, sink it in, and then probably seal, <laughs> probably seal uh, the bottom with the, again with that kind of. Uh, microfiber putty. Um, can we see? Get it fairly, fairly straight up and down, and then um, start going over glass layers from the inside of the box to the outside of the hull, and from the top of the deck to the outside of the box. And I'll probably do a similar thing around the top of the box. Um, so I get the box in, sand it, make it curvy and nice, and then start layering it up. Just using a syringe, CCs seem to be about right for uh, catalyst standard activity. Um, and four. So this is um, because it was old um, fiberglass that well that's uh, been cured for a few days. Um, get a wee rub down with acetone to help cross link the polymers. Very nice. Get most of the bubbles out. And next time, so I'll bring the box in, offer it up, cut the hole a bit bigger, and then start waterproofing the inside of the box of the hole. That'll be good. Very nice. <sighs> Fiberglass is lovely. Grindy, grindy. Um, so I'm starting to feel a bit less crazy now. I 
the hole in my boat. Um, so I've resealed the um, the flotation in the, in the deck, in the float, and I've made me a box. The box is coming together nicely. Um, um, yeah, so this fiberglass is going to be completely encapsulated in fiberglass. And then I'll do a layer on the outside too of this, up there, a couple of layers, and then that should mean that it's kind of double layered in the box. So even if the internal skin leaks or you get cracks along the seam or something, um, it will still be sealed on the outside, and this wood should be pretty resilient. Um, all right, and I'll slide that in there um, and profile the bottom here. So then I'll just this is going to be um, just where the hull. Uh, meets the, the keel ridge, uh, so it's going to be a little setback. So it's probably good for uh, you know, if you're beaching, um, rubbing up and down on the beach is going to be set back a little bit, so it shouldn't take the brunt of the, uh, the abrasion from rocks and stuff. Um, and also add, I think, some one of my captured nuts, uh, like a stainless something in here. There's a space down either side, so. I guess a simpler thing would be to put one down either side for them to take like a, a wear plate that will take the, the impact and the, the abrasion um, and find a way of joining the plastic would be cool but the um, high density polyethylene pipe um, just bring it around there cut the hole from the keel cool. yeah, that'd be good, yeah capture nuts on the side would be cool um, Stick it in. I need to kind of square it up, probably hold it on the top and then seal the bottom. One layer and backfill. There's like a 12 mm gap either side. I'm thinking using synaptic foam like the um, uh, resin, so like a polyester resin with a, uh, a glass sphere um, infill just to seal that box up and cut that slot there. Then seal the deck to the outside of the box too, and then do what you need to do two or three layers underneath just to, to build it up and make a nice smooth kind of profiled shape that's going to slide in the water nice. Uh, uh, we're good. And then keel and fixings and sticking that in. And, but this is this is good. There should be less of a hole in the boat. It's that much. Nice. Uh, so I've got my box in, um, i just set it up now with some um, putty, um, like a, the polyester resin with quite a lot of uh, microfibers just to fill in the gaps and once that's set I'll sand it back and put, put a couple layers around there into the box. Um, I've got these uh, captured knots in, in the end, there was just enough space to squeeze them down the side. Um, didn't seal the top because there wasn't enough room, so I'm, I'm going to rely on the uh, the backfill. I'm going to backfill it with a uh, resin with glass beads, but seal this bottom part here properly first, and then uh, and backfill it. Are we good? Happy with that? Should work nicely. Cool. We have got a box in. Rock solid. Um, with our foam in, getting nice. Worked out pretty good. And now I'm just going to put the glass over there just to keep that all together. And Bob's your auntie. I'm still to do um, glass in there and glassing underneath, sticking all this in. Might get bored of that, I don't know. We bank it.
David, there's a hole in your boat. Holy shit, man. There's a fucking hole in my boat. Which numpty cut a hole in his boat like? Jesus. It's a bloody great big hole too. Must be fucking crazy like. Right. Pretty damn good. Well, now we go making a smelting furnace. Um, burning waste oil. Um, yes, yeah, gas bowl. Our whole in hole oil going in. And the blower that we made based on the, the center part from an extractor fan. Uh, like kitchen extractor fan in the case, just like four pieces, to split it up and print it to get it to fit in the printer. Maybe a little butterfly valve for two. Awesome! Burning fairly clean.